I love this picture of Patrick Mahomes, man. With the rings, he said the second one's what nicer than the first. Nothing beats the first. For players who won it, they said the first, but it's not even an arrogance. There's this thing about him like, damn. Yeah, just this confidence, not ar- it just it I love this picture. I love Travis Kelsey in the background. I what did I see? I saw Andy Reid in a in a in a tuxedo. You know, it's a whole thing now when they get their rings, but they work hard for this stuff. And I saw all this and, you know, just talked to my mom. Today's their 61st wedding anniversary. Talk to Omar. Omar goes, why don't you get guests on your show? I said, dude, I got guests yesterday. And he started laughing. He goes, oh, I got to listen to the last show. And I said, you know, it's hard. People flake on you. I've, I talk all the time. I, I, hey, I want you on the show. I want you on the show. I want more people on the show. Angus gave Ari a huge compliment, said he was phenomenal about hockey yesterday. And, you know, you should have him on more. And I said, Angus, you're great too. And he's like, you know, I'm a glue keeper or whatever he said about himself. I said, no, you're more than that, man. I mean, you bring a passion, your energy, you have a smile about yourself. There's, you know, you, you do your pa, you do your, your, I see your TikTok videos all the time and you're talking about Jets and all the NHL, right? It is the Jets, isn't it? Winnipeg, yeah, it's the Jets. Is it? Yeah. And uh, I always forget which team he talks about. And he's always like, you know, that's what I look for, people. That's what keeps me motivated. And I, like today, I was going to go see The Flash, and I woke up. I'm talking to Chris a lot now more. Like, you know, I and and he wants me to talk wrestling now. He goes, that, you know, they're dying to talk. I said, yeah, let's get it going. Let's get all the people. He goes, you know, you're going to get, it'll open up. And people listen, and there's people, you know, there's, well, that's what I want to get the people. I want to get Randy talking about Vegas. I want to get John uh, Grady talking about uh, Boston. I want, I, want, I want people on talking about their sports. I can get the athletes on, but it's the fans, man. That's what, he, there was a picture yesterday of the crowd at Denver. I mean, it was, at, at the parade was, I mean, this is, look at that. Look at that crowd. Just a sea of people for their team. I mean, the first time that, you know, that, you know, Ari was talking, for, I said, the first time. And, and I saw a thing with LeBron, 2016, they had a puzzle that they were, back then, what was Larry O'Brien trophy. And they were, every win was a piece of the trophy. And he talked, it's from Clutch Points. They said, they fucked up. They fucked. They fucked mentally and physically. I'm telling you, he, he told the team with Tyron Lue. He said, we have them. You know, you could tell. You could see it in their eyes. And he put, and, he's, and the whole team's in. They're, they're one. They're one unit. And that's the stuff you love, man. That You know, and, and I, I saw something. Sports psychology today just popped up because I get so much stuff. And, you know, I'm like, oh, maybe I won't do a show today and this and that. And I'm like, no, no, no. My father raised me with a work ethic and you know p you know uh, maybe i don't get paid from doing this podcast but it is a it's a passion it's a job to me it's a commitment these people listen to the show and i feel like i you know oh, i could take a day off and i'm thinking today i did, did the gym four days in a row and in my head i'm like you know what I, I need to go today we're going out for dinner tonight i need i need to earn that meal that's what who, the the i saw that that surfer dude surfer guy who and he had talked about that, that earn his meal. And I, it's a joke, but, you know, I feel like I can't just sit around. But sports psychology, listen to this. Five attitudes that help you succeed as an athlete and as a, pers- as a person. One, I can improve if I work hard. That's true. Two, I need help from others. Three, I have a purpose in life. We all have to have a purpose in life. Four, I am more than an athlete. That's true. Five, I am part of something greater than myself. Simple, right? But it makes sense. It makes sense. But the key is you have to work hard. You, you can't just sit by your laurels. Oh, I did a show or I had this many downloads or this and that. Always got to keep doing a show. Some shows are better than others. Some suck. You know, it's like anything else. That's why I do it live. Because I can edit it and clean it up and make it all smooth and everything. But life isn't like that. Nothing's perfect. And this podcast can't be perfect. I mean, it could be close to perfect could be on you know but some days you're on some day you know what 
It's better to work out than not work out. It's better to, you know, people, oh, I, you know, I had my worst one. Did you run? You ran You ran today, right? Yeah. That's a good day. You got out. You moved the body. Got the oil moving, the blood moving, moving through the body. You got all that stuff going on. And that's the thing. That's what I got to do. Yeah. I mean, hey, what, today, 13, 19 or something like that? I can't even. Yeah, 13, 19 today. Is that where we're at? 13, 19. Because of Carol. Well, I'm, yes. Yes. I mean, I started the radio show and then, you know, crazy middle of the night. And then Carol. Carol's like, no, we, you know what? Got to keep doing it. And it just, I, there's a time I thought about stopping it, but it's, but no, no, man. Keep on trucking. Keep on trucking. Yeah, so I saw that. John Morant, 25 games suspended. That's pretty much a third of the season. It's going to lose. It's going to, suspension will cost him $7.6 million, 304000 and change. He just He's entering the year one of a $194 million rookie extension. And Christian Winfield said, third chances don't come around. And Ja got off easy. Please don't mess up, my boy. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, almost a third of the season. So the longest suspension is O.J. Mayo, 164 games back in 2016. Our test, you know, one of the stands got eight, only got 86. Sprewell got 68, choked his coach. P.J. Carlissimo, Carlissimo. Gilbert Arenas had actually had a gun and got 50 games. And Jav, uh, Javaris uh, Cretentin, 38 games, 2000. That was also the gun thing. 25 games. Is that enough? Someone said it was it was more than uh, the, the guy for the Hornets got a thir- for domestic violence against his yeah and I, I'm blanking on his name Hornets suspension what's his name and he was co- and he was coming into a free agency 